Hi, my people. I'm Simon Syed from Check Nine Channel. Uh, today it will uh, be the first unit for grade five, uh, unit one. But before I will go to start our unit today, I would like to say don't forget to share, like, subscribe to my channel. This is my channel. Thank you, new videos. And this is my channel. Thank you, new videos. Let's go to our. Uh, let's go to our uh, unit today. Today I will make you. Uh, before I will go to the to our unit today, to our first unit today in your book uh, connect. Uh, I would like to make a quick revise on the grammar that we took in in uh, in grade four. Uh, first of all, we took the present simple tense, and when all of us know that present simple tense is for happy things. things uh, which means I think we do every day. Uh, we know the present simple tense by adding S to the verb like this, walks, watches, uh, flies, uh, Y and adding I, 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 E, S. Uh, as we told you that uh, when we use do, do and does, we, we return the verb to the scheme or the infinitive form. Uh, the keywords of this case to be always, usually, often, sometimes, never, Every, uh, as we told you before, that always means the habit is uh, happened by 100% and never uh, the habit has happened by 0%. Uh, uh, verb would be with, uh, with the present simple sense. It would be am or is always, we say, I'm happy, he's hungry, and so on. Uh, uh, when we make a, uh, yes, no question, we uh, replace the verb in instead of, uh, of the subject like this. Are they happy or is she rich? Uh, uh, if, we, uh, if we make it in, um, in negative, we say, no, she isn't like this. Let's go to the keyword, uh, the WH questions, and know uh, every, uh, every, uh, every uh, word of this uh, uh, WH questions we use is what we want. We have here used this place. What, uh, what, here, what time to ask about, uh, uh, to ask about time or uh, an hour or uh, an hour? Ask about time. What, uh, what time to ask about the time? Here we have where to ask about place. We will say, where are you from? I'm from Egypt. What time is English lesson? It's, uh, it's at 10 a.m. Okay. Let's go to another uh, item. Uh, I make a quick revise because I uh, don't make the video longer. And this uh, we, took, uh, we took already on the last video. You can return to the videos and uh, see and watch what we told and revise the exercise that we answered together uh, during the videos. Okay. Uh, I make uh, I make a quick revise because I want to start our unit today. Here is the present continuous tense. What is the form of the present continuous? So uh, first of all, when we use the present continuous tense by expressing the action that's happening now. Okay, what is the the formula of this thing? A uh, 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 M is R plus verb plus I N G like this. He is plus verb plus I N G. When you say I'm working, he's playing, uh, are studying. All these are what are the Continuous tense. Okay, when we want to make to make it uh, negative, we say I'm not or isn't like this. This is called abbreviation. Okay, uh, this is on this no yes no question. Let's go over another one here. Uh, what the keywords that uh, refer refer to the present to the present continuous tense? It would be look. When we say look, so I I say, uh, I make I say you pay attention at this moment. So it would be look. Listen, so I make you pay attention with me, okay? Uh, here is the uh, look, listen. Now, at the moment, uh, this time, all this, this uh, keyword of what? Of the present, uh, of the present continuous tense. Like we said, look, the match is start, the match, the match is starting. Listen, the baby is crying. So the baby is crying in this, at this moment. So we must use this tense in the present, in the present, in, uh, in the present continuous tense. Amar is flying, he's crying now. So here is, here is the keyword of the present continuous. And we answer, uh, I, I leave the exercise because we answer a lot of exercise on related uh, on this uh, lesson. If we return to the videos, you can see, uh, can watch all this in, on the videos. Okay? Here we have the first simple tense. When we use it for the first uh, simple tense to express the action happened at, in, the, in the bar, like what? Like narrating, we use narrating. What happened? Uh, what happened and ended. Okay, not uh, not happening now. Okay, this is the uh, past simple tense. 
you have regular and irregular verb. What is the regular? The regular verb means the ed and ed only. A regular is the verb that changes completely. And we say, the, and as we told, the, and every video I will tell you that regular verbs uh, are in textbooks, are in extra books, are in every in any books. You can uh, search about it and keep because it's important to uh, know the regular verbs because uh, uh, there isn't there, uh, there aren't. Uh, so uh, answer any sentence without studying the regular verb because regular verbs, as we talked before, uh, is like the timetable in Masaban. Okay, here we have uh, the regular verbs adding ed like what, like travel, like move. Regular verbs we have here buy, both. So the verb changes completely. Go, when, take, took, drink, brain, make, may, get, got, sleep, sleep, do, do, did, wear, wore. Right road, leave left, sing same, come came, grow grew, have had, eat ate. Here we have, I visited my friend's parents last week. Uh, he went to the zoo yesterday. So I would like to say that this is the past simple tense. What can I do in the question form and in the negative form by uh, by, uh, by putting didn't to the uh, didn't or did in the yes no question and returning the verb to the scheme like this didn't finish don't say didn't finish if we say didn't finish it will be zero you say when we use it did replace the ed of the verb okay what is the keywords related to this tense it will be yesterday last ago in the past okay uh, here is he is writing the skills it's more important to know it because this uh, this is important for us for writing uh, for writing paragraphs. Okay, you have nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, and propositions. Okay, all we are, all of us know this uh, this part. Okay, here we have uh, Nadia had a cow. A monkey is climbing the tree. Ali is tall. My uh, my uh, my school is big. So here, as this, this is an adjective, and this is an adjective. This is an adjective. Uh, Mona likes pizza. So it's uh, to be the subject and verb, and this is object. Okay. Here we have some verbs like they, go, and so on. Adjectives like take, nice, hungry, proposition, at, under, behind, in, and so on. We have here propositions at, uh, used for, uh, for time like at, in, on. Uh, at used with time, in, months, season, and years, as we, we took it before. On for days and days. Okay. Here we have the formation of the sentence, as we told you when we when we answered the the uh, the, uh, the rearrange was so I write this uh, I write this rule when we answer this uh, question. So it must be no uh, subject verb of you know during the video. I think so. Here we have Ali studies Ali studies English well. Egypt is a nice place. Our school is big. Okay. The punctuation marks, as we, uh, I explained this for uh, grade four in the last video. If you obtain that, I will uh, make a quick revise on, the, uh, on it uh, to know. Here we have capital letters, we have uh, full stop or period, we have future mark, exclamation mark. When we use these uh, marks, when we use this sign, uh, when we start the, the sentence, I started one by one by capital letters. There is this. Ahmed is from Egypt. So Egypt is a place so must be written, written in capital letters, right? Like um, Egyptian. Egyptian here is the nationality must be written in capital letter. Monday. Monday is, is a day must be written in capital letter. Famous places and days and months must be written in capital letter. Okay. This is this is the first uh, rule in the punctuation. The second rule in punctuation it would be the full stop. We must put a good full stop at the at the end of the sentence. So when you say shut the window and we have comma please. This is the is the the, um, uh, the style of uh, this is the sentence the formula of uh, of the, uh, of, the, uh, of request of request from one to shut the, the window so here we have must put um, uh, comma here be, uh, before that before uh, uh, before uh, writing is here at the end of the sentence so here here we have a uh, comma here so must be written the sentence written like this we have here full stop and we uh, when we have the, the sentence is the if the sentence is the it is question or interrogative what can I do I put a question mark at the, at the end of the sentence like this what are you doing do you have car 
have a credit server, exclamation mark like this. Hi, have, uh, we can say hi, hi, and hello, wow, I feel excited. So here we have the exclamation mark, okay? A comma like this, when we think, when we mention many things, we put a, 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 a comma after that, after thing, okay? When we mention many things, we say, I like football, the comma, tennis, uh, uh, football, uh, football and comma, tennis, and basketball, like this, okay? When we, uh, when we uh, put apostrophe, when you have when something that belongs to me, or uh, we say position, like we say, Karim's bag, or Ahmed's book, so here we have comma, okay? Let's go to another one. This is the tip of writing a paragraph. We have, we must uh, be uh, followed, followed the, this is the rule that we must follow when we write a paragraph. Punctuation, the spaces between sentences, capital letters, a period or a full stop, uh, simple sentences, uh, 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 organize the simple sentences. Uh, we must, uh, when we write the, the sentence, must we say ch choice, the tense that we write it in. We need to say, when we start the sentence in the present, so must be all that the sentence is present. Uh, sentence is used in the past, so the sentence, all sentence in the past, okay? Must be uh, take care of the uh, of the spelling mistakes and uh, grammar structure mistakes, okay? Must be take care when you write the bar. This is an, an example of a paragraph. Let's read it together. I have a wonderful family. I love all of them. I live with my grandparents and parents. I have a sister. My father is an engineer. My mother is a school teacher. My sister and I go to the same school. We love each other. We go for a pic we go for picnics on holidays, eat dinner together, and watch TV together every evening. I learn a lot from my family. Here we can guess with me which stands that we use here in this uh, sentence, in this paragraph, I use what present simple tense because I talk about something is hap uh, something is um, uh, as a habit or an act that uh, we uh, uh, talk about the habit. Okay, so I use here the present simple tense. Okay, here we have the keyword uh, the keywords of uh, the keyword questions, which is what to ask about something where ask about place, when, to ask about time, who, to, to ask a subject, uh, subject person, who, to ask about position, uh, uh, which, to ask about choice, uh, how, to ask about, when we use how many, to ask about numbers, how uh, old, to ask about age, uh, how uh, long, to ask about length, like this, how long is the table, it's one meter, so I ask about the length of the table, how much, to ask about the price, like we said, how much are the tools, it's 100 pounds, why to ask about reason? Uh, why do, why didn't you come to school? I didn't come to school because I was ill or I'm uh, I was uh, or can, or can say because I was late and so on. Okay, or I I uh, I uh, wake up late. I wake up late. We can say uh, because I wake up late. So it's a uh, it's a reason. Okay? You can write any reason here. Okay. Here we have. Uh, uh, I would like to say that we have uh, some important things that we uh, use it here. Uh, when, we, when we talk about summarize, summarize means uh, summarize means uh, to to uh, to make the to, to give the brief of the text. Like to say, here is we have uh, an example of social media. We say social media is useful, but you shouldn't contact people you don't know. You should sh you should use strong password. Okay, this is summarize of support of supporting supporting details. Uh, he, uh, this is the question that I would like to note from the from, from the last year. Okay, to describe something about the, the, here we are going to ask to describe the relation between people, events, and okay? so we say here we say uh, this is uh, what what is social media for, uh, is important for us. We can say this make logical uh, infer, infer, uh, inferences from the text. Okay, like say why social media is important. Because I can find information for my homework online, I can talk to my friends and family. So in social media, I can share photos with my friends. Here we can summarize, to summarize the key supporting details and I just means I want to give the brief of these details and I decide to say that 
social media is useful, but you shouldn't contact people you don't know. You should use a strong password. Uh, here we have uh, the first lesson here. I, first unit, I will explain the first unit in your book, um, uh, this, uh, connect, in your book connect. Let's go to notes together. This is the first, uh, the first uh, unit in uh, connect, uh, grade five. I discover myself, see more. Here we say, we play our food. Uh, as we talked before, I explained this lesson during the, the revise on the, uh, on the videos, but today I will repeat again why, because today I would like to start the, your, uh, to start your uh, syllabus book. Uh, your text, I would like to start your textbook uh, of your uh, of your book, on, uh, I would like to, to start the textbook today. So I will repeat what I uh, told before to uh, understand with me what uh, to understand again. Because uh, if we if I repeat, it's important for you to know the uh, to know the what we learned before. Okay. Here we have uh, foods and drinks. Okay. Let's read the vocab uh, of this one. Here we have the main vocabulary of notes. We have here lemons, eggs, carrot, chocolate, coconuts, beans, limbs, onions, pineapple, chicken. I will repeat this vocabulary and repeat uh, and I would like to repeat with me. We have lemons, eggs, carrots, and I would like if you have a paper and pencil, uh, write with me this vocabulary to, to keep it. Okay, it's important to keep it. Lemons, eggs. Carrot, chocolate, coconuts, peas, limbs, onion, pineapples, chicken. Here we have extra vocab. I would like to know it. Here we have healthy and unhealthy. I think this uh, this uh, this vocab is not uh, strange for us. We took it before. Healthy and unhealthy. Garden, market, favorite. Favorite is an adjective. A lot, potatoes, but little, mango, fresh, lemon. We have regular and irregular verbs. I will repeat it again. Regular, we're adding ed to the verb, and regular, the verb changes correctly. And as we told before, you must keep the, the regular verb very well to answer the description uh, in correct way. Okay. Here we have think, the past of think, thought, see, sold, grow, grew, buy, bought. Here we have some expressions I would like to know it. You have that's easy. It's okay. When uh, this is the expression, it's important for. Uh, in this room, okay. How we grow lemons? Let's go to know how this. Uh, I think we took this in, in science when we say, but, uh, but, but not uh, not with lemons. Uh, I think we took it uh, when we grow peas, okay. I think we put the put the co uh, piece of cotton, a, bit, uh, a wheat piece of cotton, and put the uh, peas on this uh, cotton, and we say, and we and then. Um, and we and uh, this uh, pinch is growing is growing from 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 the from its um, from its head. Okay, I, I think so. You can do it in you can do this experiment. Okay, the girl is planting is planting lemon seed in a pot. The lemon tree is starting to grow. This is the lemon tree starting to grow like this. Some flowers are growing like this. There are lemons on the tree. This is the lemon tree. The girl is picking, picking, is taking, taking from the, uh, from the tree. Okay, like this, picking the lemon. She's making lemon. Okay, uh, here is some uh, important sentence I would like to uh, study very well. We have Paridas, Paridas. Favorite food is a chocolate. So here we must know favorite food. Someone saying uh, my favorite food is chocolate. Another one say my favorite food is uh, potato. Another one say my favorite food is uh, what is for example is pattern for example my favorite food is it so here we have favorite food is the, the, the food that I prefer it or, or, or I want it okay or, or I am happy when I eat it okay uh, chocolate is unhealthy if you eat a lot Farida has a mango tree in the garden Farida's uncle grows onions and potatoes Farida's uncle collects fresh eggs and sells them. Uh, to and sells in them at the market. Here's, I always have space for Texas. Has have what we all know that uh, Egyptian food is a famous is the the popular uh, food that the, all the Egyptians love it. What what beans? Because beans excellent. Children like sweet, uh, like sweet, like sweet. 
food like uh, like sweet food like what like what chocolate chocolate not carrots not onions not fish it would be chocolate we add the space when we make a green salad when we make a green salad what kind of we put we put we add what we add carrots I add some I add some I add a few things what's your favorite uh, uh, that it uh, be uh, the answer it would be it's chocolate so what the favorite what the expression that we know in the previous uh, page would be what favorite food we have a space tree in the in the garden we have what we have we have we have what what can we we have a chocolate wrong chicken wrong eggs wrong it would be lean my uncle's place fish at the market my uncle's do what sells the sells the fish at the market that's farida that's farida uh, since chocolate is healthy let's go know what uh, what about farida what's uh opinion of farida about What's your favorite food, Farida? Uh, that's easy. Chocolate. All of our, all, all the children like chocolate, but if we, talk, if we take a lot of the, uh, of the chocolate, it will be unhealthy and give uh, and make us and make us sick. Okay, so we must uh, take a, take a uh, eat chocolate, but, but in the uh, in the suitable way, not not uh, not all the day uh, eat chocolate. Okay, mom, uh, I love chocolate too, but it isn't healthy, is it? So here is we say that this is the thick the kitchen cake. This is called the kitchen cake. Okay. I think it's okay to eat a little, but yes, it's unhealthy if you eat a lot. So here is your mother, uh, your uh, your mother says that it's okay to eat a little, a little, but yes, it's unhealthy to eat a lot. What's your favorite healthy food? Oh, I like chicken and I like fish. Someone in Google can can you say uh, my favorite healthy food? I can say for example. Um, for example, carrots and fish, or can say uh, 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 grapes and uh, and what and uh, uh, and champers, for example. Okay, so here is the healthy food that I uh, I, I favorite. It, okay, can say this or can say uh, any uh, any uh, uh, can say any other healthy food. Okay, I would like to say that we have um, many answers for this question. Okay, oh, I like. Uh, chicken and I like fish, but my favorite is mango. We have a mango tree in the garden. I love mango too. We don't have a mango tree. We have a lemon tree and and, uh, and lemon tree. Okay. My uncle grows onions and potatoes. He has chickens too. He collects fresh eggs every day. Sometimes he sells the zin at the market. Here we use what. We use the simple tense. I would like to see with me. Grows, we have here. Has, we have here. Collects, we have here. Collects. All this, all this separate what simple tense. Collects, we have here. Sells. Okay. Let's go to uh, to answer the, uh, the question related to lesson one. Today I answer uh, lesson one, and next class I will start uh, lesson two because I would I would I don't want to get the video long. Okay. Here we have Farida's favorite food is what uh, Farida's favorite food is what is here is what uh, favorite food is what as we know here in this in the text Farida's favorite food you can, you can say here uh, uh, what's your favorite uh, uh, chocolate so Farida's favorite food it would be what it would be chocolate. Eating a lot of chocolate is what is unhealthy. Here, Farida's favorite food is what? Let's go to know from the text. Farida's favorite uh, favorite food. Uh, say here, favorite food. So what's the favorite food that Farida's like? Mango. Mango. It will be mango. If there's the answer, it will be mango. Mango. She has a mango tree in the she has a mango tree in the in the in the garden. In the garden. My grandpa uh, is a uh, is a farmer. He raises raises uh, as we took last year in gray in uh, grade four. Raises with, with, with what with animals. So it would be without thinking chickens. What's your favorite? To do what's your favorite? What taste? I like pineapple. Pineapple is what is a, is a fruit. 
So I select what is your favorite food. Face gives us a good one, gives us chicken. Uh, coco, uh, coconuts are space. Our healthy or unhealthy food or bad or lucky? No, it's healthy. Uh, a space is a kind food. Uh, carrot, uh, so fruit, fruit. Uh, it will be carrot, uh, mango, bean, green. No, it will be mango. Uh, chocolate is A or N, is an is N -E, unhealthy food. Space, mango in our uh, garden. We here, we, we, we here we have we have a plant. So we use what is about the like use with plant grow. Rabbits like to eat what without thinking. Carrots, okay. All of us know it from uh, when you are child. Know that uh, any uh, that rabbits like uh, carrots. Ola likes planting trees. Her uncle is, is a speak is a what is a farmer. So I became farm. She learned everything about plants so, from her uncle. The plant a lemon. A lemon what a lemon. Is in a put a lemon, a lemon, what lemon seed. The lemon tree starts to grow, uh, to, uh, to grow. Face grow on the tree. Uh, uh, she plants a lemon, lemon, what a lemon seed, a lemon seed uh, in a pot. Uh, the, uh, the lemon tree starts to grow. Face grow on the tree. Lemons, lemons grow on the tree. The, uh, then flowers grow all a bit. Lemon, she makes delicious lemon for her family. Let's answer the text. Uh, the, the text. Wally lives in a big house with his family. There is a big garden in the house where his green bug grows many different kinds of vegetables and fruits. He grows tomatoes, carrots, and onions. There are lemon, lime, and mango trees as well. He has chickens too. He collects fresh eggs and sells them at the market. Walid's favorite healthy food is Walid's favorite. Uh, Walid's Walid's favorite healthy food is mango. He likes he likes to eat it and use it to make delicious delicious juice. We, uh, we use the mango to make or to make juice, and we use also lemon to make juice. Walid likes chocolate too. He knows it's unhealthy, uh, but he thinks it's okay to eat everything. While in this space grows different kinds of vegetables and fruit. The, uh, what is what? What is what? The, um, grain bar. So it will be what? It will be the number B. Uh, you must read the text very well to answer the question. Uh, you must, uh, must read the text very well to answer the questions below, okay? We must take care when we, uh, when we read the, uh, when we read grade five because we have a trick in the text. It's not easy like uh, the previous year, okay? The underlying word unhealthy means what? Means, uh, means the unhealthy means what? Is what is, uh, is good for your body or bad for your body, smart or fresh. You can guess with me. Unhealthy means what? Means good for body or bad for body? No, it's for bad for body. When we say healthy, it's a good for bad. So here we have unhealthy, it means it's bad for, for our for your bad. Why does Walid eat a little chocolate? Because it's what a little, a little eat a little chocolate because it's what it's unhealthy. Uh, you see, uh, lit, uh, eat little chocolate because it's uh, because he knows that it's, uh, because Walid knows uh, or he knows that uh, chocolate is unhealthy. To write the text, uh, the text in two sentences. Uh, uh, we can say, okay, I summarize the text in two sentences. The healthy and the, we can say, uh, uh, the, uh, the healthy and unhealthy. We can say healthy and unhealthy food. Uh, and the, and the uh, we can say healthy and unhealthy food. Why here? Because we say here. It's unhealthy to eat uh, chocolate. Okay, you can say you can say uh, in uh, two sentences. I can say uh, uh, the 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 healthy food, uh, the healthy food that we grow, like vegetables and fruit, tomatoes, and unhealthy uh, and the uh, and unhealthy food. Okay. Here we say here in this uh, sentence we have subject, thus verb. Last object. The rule we know it during the during uh, the videos. Okay. Here we said uh, we can say uh, this is the in the statement form. 
But why, what can I do if the teacher form I replace the verb in the sense of something? Like what? Like this sentence. Here it will be what? It, what's your favorite healthy food? It will be here what? What's your favorite healthy food? What's your favorite healthy food? What's your healthy food? And I put what I don't forget. Uh, what is your what's your favorite healthy? Uh, what's your favorite healthy food? And I put the question mark at the end of the sentence. And the other question mark at the end of the sentence like this, okay? Another one. What can I do with the sentence? I this sentence by my father. My father goes, it could be my father. This is a subject. I have started the sentence by the subject of my father. I will leave the rest uh, to do it as a hand, okay? I will see you how to uh, do it and uh, the, the rest it will be hand. My father grows tomatoes and onions. Grows, yes. Grows and uh, and raised. I explained the for uh, grade four in the last in the last video in the last video. If you want to know the the difference between grows and raised, return to the video and know and uh, see and watch what we told in this video. Okay, my my father grow what grows what my father grows uh, onions and tomatoes. Good. onions and tomatoes. My father goes onions and tomatoes. And I put a pencil at the end of the okay? You must take care if you have a teacher mark or have a quiz at the end of the sentence. Let's go to another one. There is a picture here. Here we have a pronunciation. Uh, the picture box says, what can I do here? After, before I do everything, I would, the, I underline the, the, the wrong letter that I corrected, okay? What can I do? I would, uh, I would, first of all, I would the, I underline the, uh, the letter. It could be here, F. Why would, uh, why, uh, why I, uh, I uh, correct this F to the capital letter? Because first of all, I start the sentence and the parida is a proper name. It must be written in capital letter. And I would full stop at the end of the sentence. Here we have what? What here is a, a keyword feature. So we must be written in capital letter. And I started the and, and I started and uh, it will be at the beginning of the, the beginning of the sentence. It will be in capital letter. And here we have what here we have a question mark here. 
Why, why, why a good picture must because they, why good picture must be meant? Because it's a fiction form, so must put the picture mark here, here, and here we have Farida written uh, F written in capital letter and put uh, full stop at the end of the sentence. Uh, today I will stop here on lesson one. Uh, next class I will um, I will uh, start lesson two. Uh, thanks a lot and see you meet again. Goodbye.